The Polish government says it will not accept the migrants scheduled to arrive under the EU's migration pact. Meanwhile, the media are reporting on the additional compensation mechanism, which will see many more migrants from the old EU countries relocated to Poland than previously planned. According to plans currently being drawn up in Brussels, Poland and other countries that have successfully resisted the forced relocation of migrants will have to accept overdue migrants. As a result, hundreds of thousands of people could arrive to in Poland this year. Prime Minister Donald Tusk argues that this does not apply to Poland. We will not accept any coercive mechanism and I assure you that Poland will not accept illegal migrants under such a mechanism. The truth is different. It was Donald Tusk's government that agreed to the migration package. This means that Poland will either accept a wave of illegal migrants or pay severe penalties. Why are you silent about the migration pact? Why did you agree to it? You are avoiding such an issue and want to keep it quiet? You are being extremely irresponsible. They want to expose Poland to illegal migration, consequences of which we cannot predict now. Let's keep an eye on this government. Let's work together for a safe Poland. The Prime Minister also argues that he is the cause of the fact that Poland has not accepted migrants so far. Even as President of the European Council, I was strongly opposed to this so-called forced solidarity. It was partially because I was President of the European Council that this mechanism was not introduced. But when Donald Tusk was president of the European Council, he openly said that Poland should face sanctions for breaking the Brussels dictate. If the Polish government is one of two or three in Europe that decides not to participate in this solidarity-based division of refugees, it may not have the right to do so, but it has certain arguments. But it will have consequences, such as the rules. The migration crisis erupted when former German Chancellor Angela Merkel invited migrants to Europe in 2015. She argued that Germans would cope, but they didn't. We have to be aware of the number of migrants in Western Europe, which has long exceeded the security limits. This is a key problem in these countries. Hundreds of thousands of migrants who could come to Poland do not want to be there. The Polish state will have to ensure that they stay in the country. People who will be deported to us, who will escape and then return to the countries from which they were deported, Germany or France, for example, then, after identification, will be brought back to Poland. and We will pay fines for not keeping an eye on them. When Russia and Belarus launched a hybrid attack on Poland's eastern border in 2021, politicians from Donald Tusk's camp called for accepting illegal migrants and were therefore part of the Kremlin's propaganda. Let these people in. Later we will find out who they are, why we have services for. In the referendum last autumn, almost 97% of voters were against taking in illegal migrants. However, the referendum is not binding because the opposition at the time did everything it could to discourage Poles from taking part. As a result, Poland does not have a strong bargaining chip in Brussels. It is no coincidence that this operation with the public media began when they agreed to relocate. If it weren't for Telewizja Republika, people wouldn't know about it. In 2015, when the Germans could not cope with the wave of illegal migrants, they planned to house them in the buildings of former concentration camps, such as Dachau. After strong protests from Jewish communities, the Germans backed down from this idea.